Fall is the most beautiful time of year in Vermont, and for me, there's no better time of year to chase brook trout in beaver ponds. I'm John, and this is my outdoor journal adventure. The beauty of the beaver pond is that it can pop up just about anywhere there's moving water. When a beaver decides he wants to stop that water from flowing, he'll make himself a pond, and that makes for great trout habitat most of the time. You never know where they're going to pop up, you just have to get out and look for one. When you catch a beautiful brook trout, there's no prettier fish and the colors you will see match those in the mountains at this time of year. They're beautiful, the orange, the red spots, the brightly defined vermiculations on their backs, they just don't get any prettier than they are at this time of year. As much as I enjoy fishing alone, it is fun to take a friend as long as they are relatively sure-footed. Whoa! <laughs> it's not easy to hike across a dam. Sometimes they fall apart. Sometimes you fall, but it's always an adventure. There's a habitat that surrounds beaver ponds that doesn't happen anywhere other place. There's ducks that nest here. The great blue herons are here and there's just this labyrinth of, of the ebb and flow of the season. And I think that's the coolest part. The experience around the beaver pond is, is really about water movement and watching the beaver work on the dams. They'll sometimes come up and slap their tail. And it's really because they don't want you near their dam. There's so much to be learned here about wildlife that uh, if you take the time and really just sit and listen, and watch, um, you can learn so much about the ecosystem that's happening here. Um, you know, in the springtime, when the frogs wake up, when the peepers wake up, ah, oh, it's like a symphony. For me, it's just about the quiet. It's mostly about being alone and having some place all to yourself and listen to what's going on around you and enjoy the beauty of the state of Vermont.